Hello. Today we're gonna go over advanced quests. Why? Because uh, they're not just straightforward. There's a little bit to them. Um, yeah, and they give probably the best XP in the game. They're also a little more difficult. They are the most difficult thing in the NA version right now. Um, again, this video is for newer players. The JP vets, for those of you that are watching this, um, you already know all this, so you can you can either just hang out or, or fill some comments in that I things that I missed. Um, for you new players, advanced quests are not available until, I think, level 40. They're under sub-quests, advanced quests. And then, very hard and super hard. So you need to be level 40 to do very hard. You need to be level 55 to do super hard. You also need capsules. These guys right here. Advanced capsule A, B, C, D, E, F. Now, A, B, and C are for the very hards, and D, E, and F are for the super hards. The very hards will require one capsule for everybody. Well, I'll show you. Let me queue one up. So here we are. I got a, I got a, uh, the forest advanced very hard so the level 40 plus uh requirement there's a there's a blocker here right so you walk up to the blocker and you can either have everybody in your party pay it's going to cost you one capsule so the very hards cost one the super hards at level 55 or higher require 10 capsules so as the party leader, you can walk up to the gate and you can select each member pays their separate way. So everybody's going to have to pay their one to get in. Or you can cover the cost for everybody. If you have four people or three people in your group, there's a party of four, you can pay four and get everybody in for free. Well, them for free, you not, right? The other thing you can do with these missions is you can raise the threat level. So you can pay additional capsules up to a maximum of threat level plus 50, okay? So I already have this one set to threat level 23 because I've already paid 23 extra previously to make it threat level 23. What a lot of people don't realize is this threat level stays. So it's not like you go up and you put 50 down and it's for that mission and then you have to put another 50 down again. No, 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 no. It'll stay at 23 for a few days. I'll show you how to check that. Um, so you and your friends could combine capsules or whatever. And well, you can't ch share capsules. You can't sell them. You can't trade them. I'll show you lots of other ways to get them. But um, the idea is you want to max them out to plus 50 and then grind those for the next couple days. Um, you want to find three missions typically and grind those three. Why three? Because let's go back to the items here. If you're doing a capsule A mission, everything that you're doing in the game, especially if you're doing PSE bursts and you're doing very well, everything in that mission is going to drop capsule Bs. So then when you go to the B mission, they're going to drop Cs. When you're in a C mission, they drop As. So it's a round robin type thing, right? So you're going to be cycling three mission types. A missions, B missions, C missions, A missions, B missions, C missions. That way you don't run out of capsules. And if you play well and you guys work as a group and you'd have a bunch of PSE bursts, you're going to get a ton of capsules and you won't ever lose. You'll be getting more than you're spending. Keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. Same thing goes for the super hards. D missions drop E capsules. E missions drop F capsules. F missions drop D capsules. Now remember, the super hard missions require a 10 capsule entry fee instead of a single capsule entry fee. So if you're going to pay for your whole team, it's going to cost you 40. Um, it's going to cost you 10 to get in. It's going to cost everybody 10 to get in. And then another 50 to max it out. Now I'll show you how to check to see how long your... You go into submission, advanced quests. Let's click on forest. Very hard. It says the current level is set to plus 23. Yep. You can click on it. And it'll tell you... Um, Reset period. So these reset every week. On 4-9, this is going to reset. A super hard. Set to plus 50. This is going to reset on the 10th. So it's not on a weekly timer. It's from when you up it. Yeah. You get like seven days. 
You can also look right here when you're in the menu. This isn't, if you look down um, right in this section, requires, I can't get my finger over there, in this line. Whew, payment of one advanced capsule A. So that's an A mission, B mission, C mission. A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C. So it goes in that order in the list. Then if you look at the super hard version, this is a D, this is an E, this is an F. So same thing, you don't have to go into it, look at it. An A is a D, um, a B is an E, and a C is an F. D, E, F, D, E, F. Got it, got it. The other cool thing about advanced missions, you'll notice uh, they have that little XP thing right here, this little yellow guy. That means that you're getting, at the very top, you'll see a tool tip. Let me come down here and I'll highlight it. And you can see it Pew, shoots up right here. Pew. XP earned 100% bonus. So it's basically double XP. Now, these are the hardest missions in the game. They, um, especially when you make them plus 50. So when you make them plus 50, the enemies become harder. They're a higher level. Uh, it spawns more enemies. And they have a better meseta drop and rare drop rate. So you want to make them harder. Oh, you get more XP also, obviously. So per enemy, plus you're getting the double XP for the mission type. You're getting all these better drops. So you want to do these with friends. When you're in a group of friends, you get more XP. These are by far in the NA version as of right now, the best way to level and get items. It is. You want to make sure you group up and do PSE bursts so you can get capsules for the next one. Remember, A, B, C, and D, E, F. Do them in order. Do them in order. Do them in order. You could always try to solo them too. It's just going to prolong it a little bit longer because um, you don't have the group stuff. Your PSE bursts are going to be wimpy. But um, something to keep in mind also, you can fail advanced quests. If you die, you're out. You're out. You can't just come back to ship and jump back in. So you got to be careful. When you have friends, you can revive each other and stuff like that. But if you die... For a stupid mistake, if you don't have a half scape doll, you're out. You got to do it over again. You can keep everything you get in the game, but just remember, you can't go back and complete the boss. If you don't, if you die before the boss or die on the boss, you can't go in and finish the boss off. So how do you get capsules? Well, when you hit level 30, uh, the same time you get your mag feed box that gives you all of your mag devices and mini feed boxes and stuff for your mags, you also get a care package. I can't remember what it's called, but it's going to give you... Uh, I believe it has 10 A's, 10 B's, and 10 C's in them. You can also come over to the buy item shop in your gateway ship. And down here, you can buy A's, B's, and C's, D, E's, and F's. They're expensive as hell. Especially if you need 10 of the D's, 10 of the E's, and 10 of the F's. Not so expensive if you just need one of these, right? But if you need 10 of these... Another way to get capsules is from your alliance, a.k.a. guild. So if you're not part of a guild, get in one. Come join mine. We're on ship two. Welcome to our shop. So what you do is um, whoever has access to purchasing items can um, come in here. And if they buy, uh, this shop, by the way, resets weekly. So right now you have only you can only buy up to 50 Ds at a time, 50 Es at a time. You have to wait for the week to be over before it replenishes. Um, it'll cost you 50 or 40 alliance points for one E, right? So if I wanted to get 10 of these, it's going to, you can see the total AP amount, 400 for 10 of these. Now these 10 get deposited into the alliance and anybody that's higher than the entry level rank has access to pick these up. So if I have five members and I buy 10 of these for 400, it's not just 10 for me. Everybody in the Alliance gets those 10 just for that 400 points and they have to come into yeah I want to cancel they come into retrieve Alliance shop purchases and they'll just click right here and anybody that's in the Alliance can get that we were purchasing these for like two weeks we had somebody that uh, didn't grab them they came in they grabbed them all at once later on it was cool it was cool so that's another way to, to get everybody in your group uh, and your team capsules Another way to get um, some of the capsules for like D, E's, and F's, you can come up here to the red shop. It's over here in the in the shopping district. You just come up to the second floor, Did and this person over here, Astrocyte Exchange, and you click on Miscellaneous Exchange. And here you have D, E, and F's. So D's will take, you can get one D capsule for every 10 A's that you have. Same thing with E's. Every 10 B's will equal an E, 
Every 10 C's will equal an F. So there's another way you can convert ones you don't want to use into the higher rarity ones. And then lastly, Welcome. this is the last way. You have limited prizes here in the casino. You can get D, E's, and F's. Uh, one for 250 casino credits, coins, whatever they're called. So if there's another way to get them, feel free to let me know. But as far as I'm aware, those are the best ways to get, not the best, all the ways to get capsules. So hopefully that helps out. Um, maybe you didn't even know anything about that, about the advanced quests. Maybe you did. Maybe you didn't know some of it. Regardless, um, it's good knowledge to have for the advanced quests, especially when you're trying to power level grind or you want to get better drops. Um, it's just, to be honest, the best way to play the game. Um, you, it, it, It's more beneficial in groups, um, and it can be a little frustrating in slower solo. Um Solo's a little easier to run expeditions, but if you've got two or three friends or even a full group of four, you'd smash those advanced quests out and stick together, do PSE bursts, and then rotate the three missions that you want to do. If you're trying to really milk out uh, XP and items, you want to go do the bottom three on the list. You want to do Nightfall, Daybreak, and Floating um, Facility. Uh, those are the three most popular. They are popular because you get the most XP, the most items. Your inventory will fill up 15 times while you're in there. Um, it is a lot harder than the top mission. So if you were to do forest, um, volcano, and desert, those are far easier. So if you're a fresh 55 and you've got a couple friends that are 55s, you might not want to go down and do the harder ones right off the bat. You, you can, but just be warned they're going to be rough. Um... And if it's taking you longer to kill things, even though it's worth more XP, it takes longer. Is it worth the XP? So you can find a middle ground, play around with it, pick missions that you like, don't get burnt out. Um, friendly reminder, I stream daily over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash slugumby between the late night hours of 8 p.m. till about 2 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. It's West Coast, United States. You can follow me on Twitter at slugumby for news updates and goofiness. If you want to jump into some matches, play around. We're on ship two. We have an alliance. We'd be more than welcome to pick you guys up. And then, um, if you got questions, I have, I, I mean, I'm getting tons and tons of knowledge over the last three, three weeks of playing this nonstop and hanging out in, in chat live on stream with tons and tons of JP vets. Um, a lot of this stuff, I'm just being told and, and, and learning. I have not, no, by far no genius, right? We're all learning together. It's a brand new game. So if you want, come hang out. We've got lots of people in chat, plus myself that have tons of information new to the game it's a cool place to hang out we're a little we're a little mature by the way so with that see you guys in the next one bye bye now